distinguished guests and colleagues, welcome back. And without further ado, is there time yet? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, sorry, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Without further ado, I present Frederick. Oh, I'm back. Hey, everybody, I'm back. I was um, I was in my tree. Uh, Lisa went to Colorado. I did, I did. And I felt like I needed to stay with the plants because I didn't want any of them to die. And you did a great job. They're all still alive. They're still alive. That's right. And I had to take care of my tree. I cleaned it a lot. I did a lot of stuff. Um, there was a squirrel and his name was Eddie. So we started our own show called Freddie and Eddie, which maybe you'll get to see. I don't know. I Listen, we're, we're talking to some producers, Frederick. Yeah. Um, that's great. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to teach a lesson. Oh, the, oh, yeah, the classes. Oh, I love the classes. Oh, I'm going to learn how to do something. What am I going to learn how to do? <laughs> You are going to learn today how to build this. What is it? It's a coaster. Oh, yay. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I, I could totally see that. Yeah, that's totally a coaster. Yeah. Well, it's a coaster, and it is made of... What? Oh, I was going to have you guess. Well, you have to tell me to guess. I mean, that's pretty passive-aggressive just to say of and expect me to know. Hey, Frederick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. What do you think it's made of? Toilet paper roll. You're right. I'm right. I did it. I did it. I did it, 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 I did it. Frederick. Yeah. You want to learn how to make it? I do. Ah, oh, I'm so glad you guys are back. It's good to see you. Oh, did you change your hair? It looks good. Mwah. I'm happy to see you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, so... Do you want to go sit in your spot? I would love to sit in my spot. Okay, go sit in your spot, and I'm going to teach you how to make a coaster out of a toilet paper roll. Okay, so, and yeah, it's kind of a little coaster, but it fits a cup. See? Oh, gosh. Ooh. <laughs> That's, ooh. <laughs> All right. So. We are going to be using a technique called weaving. Has anybody ever weaved before? Ah, okay. For those of you who haven't, it's okay. It's pretty easy. Um, basically, the concept of weaving is every other one. And I'm going to get into more of that in a minute. But first, we're going to take our toilet paper roll and we're going to smoosh it. Okay, we're going to smoosh it down. Like that, and we're gonna make this into a really good crease, really good fold, and then we're gonna do that same thing to this other side. We're smoosh, 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 smoosh it. Smoosh it good. Smoosh it real good. Ah, smoosh it. Smoosh it good. That's right. Okay, so now I'm gonna measure this real quick and see. These are about, so this is my super cool little bug alien ruler. Ooh, it's holograms. All right, so I'm going to look at what this says and this, okay, the one inch is right here. So if I look at just one of these pieces, I'm looking from here to here, it goes about halfway to the one. Okay, so that means it's about a half an inch. So what we're going to do is if you have a pen or marker, you're gonna go with the ruler, 
you're going to go a half inch for each one. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's about seven. And we're going to have to actually, we're going to, because it's a little more than this this last one is a little more than a half inch so we're going to put the mark where the half inch would be and we're going to cut that rest of that edge off okay so we're actually going to make eight cuts but we're only going to use well we're going to use eight pieces you'll see okay so let's make those cuts on those marks so this one is the one we're going to throw away now your roll might be a different size it might be exactly a certain amount of inches wide and then if it's if it's an exact number then going half is going to be fine and you're not going to have any excess but for me I had about that much extra so I cut that off and we can just put that to the side for another project another day okay so we're gonna cut along each one of these marks and we're gonna go as straight as we can so cut 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 Cut, cut, cut. Save each of the pieces. Mine are just falling right down here, but I know where they are. So that's three, four, five, six, seven cuts makes eight pieces. I know that seems weird, but it, it's true. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces, okay? So the first piece is just gonna go like this. There you go, you're done. Step one, done, okay? So second piece, we're gonna put, so this is flat like this, right? It's folded. This opens up a little bit, they both kinda do, but we're gonna put it flat, through here. So I'll do it from this side, whoop, like that. Whoop. Okay, just like that. All right, so that piece went through. So to get to this, I want you to notice something. This one is not covered, but this part is covered. Then it's not covered again, and then it's covered again. You see that? And then the opposite happens up here. So the piece that's covered down here is not covered here, but it's covered over here. Okay? So, like I said, every other one, so every other one is covered or uncovered, right? Does that kind of make sense? I hope that makes sense. Ugh. All right. So we have these ones. So the next piece is going to do the opposite type of thing. So instead of going through like this, we're actually going to go like this. Okay? And then the one that comes after that, what do you think it's going to do? If we've set a pattern now, so this one goes over, this one went under, so what does the next one do? Does it go over? That looks right, right? So then if we're, if our pattern is over, under, over, under, and we have over, under, over, what's next? Under. So we're going to take this piece and go under. Okay. Now we have a little extra room here. Forgive. All right, so now it's really important that you hold these like this, because otherwise these guys that went under are going to slip out like that one just did. Okay, but that's okay. You can put it right back. All right, so if you hold the side like this, we're going to turn it. And then this is where it gets kind of tricky. You're going to have to maneuver a little bit, which just means move it around. All right, so this one goes over this one. So now we need the next one to go under it, okay? But then this one goes over this one. 
So we need the next one. Whoop. Remember, keep holding on to it so that we go under, then over, and then see how I'm going. I'm maneuvering it around under, and the last one is going to go over again. Hang on. You got to move them around. All right, so this one has to go over this one. So we can open it up a little bit, put it through. There we go. And then we're going to push this down like that. And now you don't have to hold on so tightly anymore because they kind of hold on to themselves now. See that? So that first piece is the hardest. After that, you're fine. Hi, Scribbles. Scribbles has joined us. Hello, Scribbles. All right, so see how it's every other one? So this one went over, under, over, under, right? And same with this one, except opposite. So it went under, over, under, over. So we're gonna keep building. We're gonna take this guy. Now, we went like this the last time. So this time, we gotta go like that, okay? And then opposite, and then under, and then last one would be over. That's right. That's right. Okay. And then just push it down. Now, sometimes they're going to get a little stuck because see how they have these little folds here. This is where it, they glue it together. The company that makes them glues them together right here. See that? So those are also on the inside. So sometimes they might stick a little bit. If they do, just find out where it's sticking and just um, push that little area that's sticking up, push it down a little bit, and it'll, it'll help. See? Let me see if I can find this one. Where is it not coming down? Oh, it's right here. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that. You can't really see too well, but there's a little piece here that sticks out right here. See it? So I just need to make sure this can go all the way under that and then it'll slide through. There we go. Hope that made sense. Okay. So we have one more left. And then we're done, okay? So this one started with over, so we're gonna start with under, and then go over, and then under, and then over. And we have done it. Now you just need to kind of finagle it around, make everybody look nice and even. So we have a little bit of extra wiggle room here so we can move some of these up just a little bit like that so they're not so tight in on each other. And there you go. You get yourself a little booster. And you could also use this for other things like if you have like if you have a dollhouse, you could use it as a little welcome rug. So like a bath mat. Yeah. Um, Frederick, what else could you uh, what else could you use this for? So if you have a pet hedgehog, you could use it as um, a pillow for a hedgehog. Oh yeah, maybe a pillow for a hedgehog. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, or like if you have a spoon that you're not using, you could put your spoon down on here. Mm hmm You could. You could do that. Or if you wanted to, you could put a secret message inside. Oh, yeah, in through the weaves? Yeah, while you're making it, you could put a secret message inside. Yeah, and then have somebody open it, like a card or something, huh? Yeah, that'd be pretty fun. That'd be pretty cool. Or you could paint it. Yeah, you could paint it. Put it on your wall. Yeah, it could be art. 
You could put, you could cut out something from a magazine and put it on top of it. Yeah, you could. You could. You could really, you could, um, put makeup on it and call it Clarissa. You, okay, you could put makeup on it and call it Clarissa. Yeah, you could, okay, well, that, you know what, Frederick, I think, yeah, I think that's enough ideas. Great, yeah, glad I could do it. Me too. All right. So there's our, we've got two coasters, one for you, one for me. Great. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Have a good day, everybody. It's good to be back. It's good to see you again. We love you. Yay.